Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a slightly different location. Today I'm at the London, that's out of the way. I'm at the Londoner Hotel with YouTube. Um, they brought us here to celebrate being part of the YouTube Black cohort. And I'm so excited to be here. I've never stayed in a hotel in London before let alone the Londoner. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so stunning. I can't believe that I'm going back home today. But I thought that I would quickly do a get ready with me doing my makeup. I've never done this before. Uh, and answer some questions that I got on Instagram. So let's uh, let's get started. So let me just really talk about makeup because I've never spoken about makeup on this channel. Um, so I started wearing makeup, like, not very long ago. Um, probably, like in my mid 20s, I'm 31 now, probably like in my mid 20s, I bought my first product. I think it was a, what's that called? Concealer. <laughs> I think it was a concealer. It was the first thing that I bought. Uh, and then I only wore it like here and there, like when I wanted to go out or like, you know, be a bit more fancy. And then I bought my first foundation in February this year when I was going to Dubai. Cause I was like, you know what, it's Dubai. Like you have to like glam up. So I bought my first foundation. And even then I've never like worn a full, like from forehead to chin foundation. Like I only kind of like cover certain areas of my face. Um, I just, I just don't feel like, I mean, I don't want to say I don't need it. I just don't feel like I, I don't feel like myself when I wear makeup. I definitely feel like an imposter. I feel like I'm not me. Um, so when I do wear something, it's very much quite minimal just to enhance my features, maybe like, uh, m like cover some dark marks or like just make my skin look a similar tone as opposed to like changing the shape of my nose, or like changing the shape of my face. That's just not really my style. I just find it more flattering. The less is more look is what I prefer. Um, so anyway, this is like my whole collection essentially. And um, what I wore last night, which you'll see in the vlog, is basically like the same as what I'm going to do right now. So we have an event today, so I thought I would just go th through and show you what I wear um, when I want to like look a little bit more glammed. Uh, what is this? <laughs> what do I have in here? And yeah, so let's uh, start. Let me just tell you what I'm going to be using and then I can just get on with it while I ask some questions. So um, I use the NARS... Um, I don't know what found what this is. I just natural radiant long wear foundation. I just um, saw someone wear it and I thought I just like okay whatever. <laughs> Let's just get this. And it's in the it's in the shade Caracas Caracas. I don't think it's my shade though. I bought it online. I just looked at someone I thought was the same color as me and I bought it. But actually, she was a bit darker than me. I think she might have lightened her photos a little bit. But it, it's not really my shade. Um, so, but it's fine. I don't really care. And then I'm, I add, what's the, uh, this is very chaotic. <laughs> and then I have the Fenty Beauty uh, concealer in 350, which I like to uh, kind of put, when I mix these two together, it's my perfect shade basically. And then I, that's basically what I do. And I only kind of do it around here, like near my, around my eyes. And then I add a little bit of, this is the Revolution Ultimate Nude Dark Shadow Palette. I then ha add like a little bit of the brown onto my eyelids and under my eye, just over there to give me like a little bit of a smoky look. And I'm literally good to, like, that's actually all that I do. <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna start answering some questions. So the first question someone said was, I love your content. Do you guys have childcare for your kids or family support during work? So when I first had Sufyan and I went back to work, he was around 10 months old. So between 10 months old and about when he turned around two, um, he was at my parents' house. So he would go there four days a week when I was at work and he, they would look after him. And that was amazing. Like he learned so much, like he really had a close bond with them at the time because of that. And then when I had Maria, obviously I went on maternity leave and then I brought him back home with me again. And then now that I'm back at work again, I decided to put them both into nursery, uh, him full time, her half a week, because I just decided that um, I didn't want, I mean, my parents were more than happy to have them both, but I was like, it's not really fair. Like they're really demanding. They require a lot of like work, time, effort. They, and I want them also to just be, to explore outside and not be limited to a house or indoors or make, like have my parents feel like they have to take them out all the time. So they do go there quite often still, but um, I decided to put them into nursery and it's the best thing ever. Like they really, they're really growing as people um, being like with a ton of other people. Um, how do you know which toys to buy for the kids? I um, I don't buy a huge amount of toys. Most toys that we have, they're gifted. 
Um, let me just put some of this on. I literally just go like this, like, oh, one little squish, and oh, one little squish. <laughs> this is not a makeup tutorial, by the way. This is a, this is very much a, this is what I mean is tutorial. I can do what I'm gonna show you now in two minutes, and it makes a huge difference on my, on my face. And I just get a beauty blender, uh, and I just go, dab, 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 let me take my, let me take this off, because otherwise it's gonna be very annoying. <laughs> So yeah, let's go dab, 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 dab. Um, what, how, what toys? Yes, I don't really buy many toys. Most toys that I have uh, for the kids were purchased as gifts or, yeah, literally gifts. Um, but the toys that I did, I did buy a set of toys from Love Very. Is it Love Every? Love Every. Um, I'll leave them linked down below so you can see. But they essentially are like a toy subscription for the, your child's age. So they, yeah, they basically like give you toys, uh, a toy pack, a toy set, I suppose, that is based on like your child's current development and what they should be like learning and like um, their skill that they should be developing at the current moment of time. So yeah, that's um, basically what I do. I don't really buy that much toys to be honest because the best toys are the ones that they have at home. Um, how are your Arabic lessons going? Are they going so well? Like, I love Arabic. So, and I, oh yeah, by the way, this is the Fenty Beauty. I just do a little bit there, I do a little bit there. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah, they're going really well. Um, I'm really loving like how much I'm learning in such a short space of time. Um, and I feel like I've always wanted to be a good Arabic speaker. And I feel like I'm definitely, if you wanna hear me speak Arabic, by the way, watch my vlog, the last one. Um, I was speaking Arabic in it. <laughs> And I really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. And be, like just learning something new is something that I really value and I think is so important. You know, as as humans, like our brains are so plastic, like the neuroplasticity, there's so much study on neuroplasticity at the moment and how much our brains can like change and stuff like that. So it's so important that we are constantly like learning and constantly teaching ourselves, um, you know, how to be how to how to do new things be it a skill like that uses your hands be it learning a language like whatever it is it's so important that we maintain that um cool and that's it basically by the way for my eyes like i'm literally done uh how are the kids oh they are so well um i'm currently this is my first night away from them ever like since the, either of them was born the only night i spent away from them was the night that i gave birth to maria obviously i was Sophia went to my parents' house, so that was the only night that he stayed away from us. Other than that, like, they've been with us, oh, their whole lives. And today's the first night that I haven't, um, yeah, haven't been with them. And if you know, if you're a mum and you've stayed away from your daughter, your breastfeeding child, you know the feeling that I'm feeling. I'm not, I don't, I don't have to say it. Like, if you are, leave me a comment down below. If you're a mother and you breastfeed your child and you stayed away from them for more than 24 hours, you know how I feel right now. Like I literally want to burst. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm using the ultimate nudes a dark. So this I, I find this um I'm not a, a eyeshadow palette connoisseur by any means, but when I went to I think it was super drug or boots, um, and I was like, oh, let me look for some like some eyeshadow that looks like the same colour. So my my eyelids are naturally a bit darker anyway. But when I put the foundation concealer on top, it light it makes it lighter so i kind of just want to put the same color back basically on my eyelids i don't want like any dramatic color so this is actually a really nice palette it's very very pigmented um it's called the ultimate nudes dark shadow palette and it's dark because it's for like darker skin and i basically just use the two shades like down there at the bottom those two and i just go do 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 and then I literally just go, by the way, this is also very, like, I got this in February. I had no brushes before February. Like, honestly, Dubai was the reason why I got everything. Because I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Dubai. I can't, like, not look decent. <laughs> um, yeah, so I literally go like that. I just go, do 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 boom, boom, boom. And I just, I'm basically just putting, putting the same colour that was on my lids before, but, but on my, like, yeah, back again. Um, and then I just, the thing that I find defined, like makes it look really nice for me is I just put some under my eyelid, like just underneath the, underneath it basically. So I just go like that under my eyelid. And I find that it makes me look a little bit more like, like smoky. Probably can't see the detail there, but yeah. 
it makes me look really smoky. Um, yes, the kids are doing well. <laughs> um, how old are you? I'm 31. I just, not just, I turned 31 in May. It sounds so weird saying it out loud. Like, I feel like in my head, I'm still 22, 23. I'm like, how am I 31? <laughs> okay, um, where do you come from originally? I, my parents are from Ethiopia, um, Harar to be specific, which is in the east part, yeah, the east part of Ethiopia. And I, I was born in England, in London, and I have always lived out. I have always lived here my whole life. And yeah, love it. And to go on to the next question, are you still planning to move to the UAE? Yes, we are. We are planning. Um, possibly 2023. Possibly 20, like we have, Like the plan is right now 2023. But obviously there's nothing solid. I don't have a job. We don't have a job. Like it's not, there's nothing in the works. It's just something we talk about all the time. And I think next year is a good time because um, the kids have, would have been in nursery for a while. They'd be a bit more independent. They're older. Like, they've experienced being away from us. They can easily, like, have a nanny or, like, be in nursery or, you know, be looked after because we're going to be working. The page doctor is at a good position now. So I can, you know, we can kind of be a bit more flexible with, like, how we work and things like that. We're still deciding whether we want to go with a job. So, you know, with an employer. Um, and obviously have everything sponsored for us, like healthcare um travel like the move or if you want to have or if you want to go with out a job so with the page doctor financially like it's fine but it's just the fact that we then have to add on paying the bills um like uh health care schools and that's something that we'd have to come out of our own pockets because if we go by ourselves then that's what we have to do whereas if we went with an employer your employer will pay for everything up to two kids and a spouse um for either for either one of us so yeah at the moment i think we're kind of like we should we, ha we should really go with the job and then kind of figure it out and see how it goes after that but yeah, I don't know. I haven't really looked into the costs of stuff, but I, I think going with a job is, is wise. Let me know if anyone is from or lives in the UAE or has done that move. Let me know what you'd recommend. Like, would you recommend going with a business uh, with two kids or would you recommend getting an actual job? Um, yeah. How do you earn and spend in a month? A financial update. How do you earn? Okay. How I earn, I guess at the moment I don't have like a nine to five, I have my own business. So I make money from the business and I take a salary from that business, like a, a set salary every month. And then I have I have two businesses. So I have my, the page doctor is one and then I have my own like social media stuff. So I take a salary from just one of them. And then I have a ton of other like collaborations, sponsorships, stuff like that. But from all of that, I only take like a very small salary. And then if you're an account, if you're in this field, you, you'll understand. I take a very small salary and then at the end of the accounting year, I do dividends and take another bit from there and pay less tax. Um, do you miss teaching? No, <laughs> I'm joking. I, I don't miss it because I teach all the time. Like I miss, I, I definitely don't miss classroom teaching. Definitely don't miss that. Like that wasn't for me in the sense that, how can I explain it? I, I, I find that the working conditions in the UK for many careers, nurses, doctors, teachers, like is is actually quite shameful and something that we definitely, we're not, we shouldn't be proud of. And I think being a teacher in the UK is a struggle. And I've spoken to teachers that have like gone to other countries like Singapore. I know one guy, he was a teacher at my old school and then he went to, I think, was it Singapore? It must be oh yeah, I was Singapore. He went to Singapore, and he was like, "It's not that it's easier. It, the teaching is still the teaching. It's just that your classroom size might be fifteen rather than thirty-two. Your teaching hours might be less. The requirements of you are less. So it's not that it's easier in the sense that like teaching is easier. It's just that the conditions are better. The pay is better. The tax is less. Like there's every it's it's what comes with it. So the teaching. Do I miss the teaching itself? I teach all the time. Like I'm literally teaching on YouTube every day. So I don't miss it because I always do it. But do I miss the classroom teaching? 100% no. Would I go back to teaching? Yeah. Like I, if I, you know, if I felt like I wanted to go back to a school and teach, I definitely would. I'm not saying no, but I, I think I'd be a bit more pickier as to like my roles, what I do, um, what I don't do, like my hours. I probably wouldn't do five days a week if I went back to teaching again. Um, I just find, 
I just find that my impact can be can be so much greater by doing by doing something else. I also want to I, I really want to I did a bit of university lecturing at one point as well. I really want to go back there. So I might try to get a university job as well. Um, okay, so pregnant and starting a PhD. Any tips on how to manage? Oh, uh, I wasn't pregnant during my PhD, so I can't tell you. But um, I would say to I don't know what field you're in, but just be careful, like obviously be careful, like if you're working in a lab, be aware of like what you're surrounded by, fumes, like chemicals, things like that. Um, in terms of managing, it should be, I mean, if you're pregnant, it should be okay. Uh, you can just, just take more time, like resting, sit down, just make sure that your supervisor is aware. Um, I would say not to hide it for too long, like wait until you're past like three months or whatever, four months, and then you can inform your supervisor and say like, this is the situation. I don't perceive it changing anything for now. Um, but if you said you're starting a PhD, that means that you're gonna take a year out, I suppose. That might be an issue. So speak to your supervisor, because I think if I'm not mistaken, maternity leaves are not accounted for for PhD stipends. So it might mean that you take a year out, but you're unpaid completely. Uh, and also, yeah, double check things because I'm not 100% sure. Um, how did you meet your husband? I met him online. Um, do you want more kids? I don't know is the answer to that question. Um, yes and no. Yes, I would, in the ideal world, like if money, time, career, like all of those things were of space, like house, you know, if all those things were of no object, like, you know, they didn't exist then I would have like 10 kids like honestly I love I loved my pregnancy I love my labor like I would genuinely have 10 kids but and I also love big families I come I've got five there's five siblings in my family and then my parents so seven of us and I feel like we were such a small family like even with seven of us now looking at it like one of us my brother's here my sister's there like all over the place and I feel like we're so small whereas like imagine if it was like 10 of us on the Eid days and everything like it would be so lovely um, I'm just putting, oh, I'm just, oh, by the way, I'm done. <laughs> That's all I do. This is the e.l.f. putty, putty blush. And it's in, what was what? I don't know what it was in. I saw, I saw in Fiji, Fiji, it's in Fiji. Again, I don't know if this is a good one for me. I've, I, I literally saw one girl's makeup tutorial and I felt like we were the same color. I got this because this is what she used and I got the foundation and neither of them are my skin tone which means she's not that skin tone <laughs> um but yeah that's that's my fault for trusting uh trusting someone online um that's it literally I just put some some blush on with the same <laughs> beauty blender and I'm good to go guys that's literally all I do um yeah what was I gonna say what was I saying uh more kids yes so yes I do like I said I love a big family but I just feel like it doesn't necessarily align with my like what I want in life like I really want to be able to like get up and go and having 10 kids and dragging them all along is probably not going to be very much very conducive to that lifestyle um but I also feel like I love a big family and like thinking 20 30 years from now and it's just like me and my two kids I just that sounds a bit sad like it it just feels sad to me whereas I feel like if there were five six of us I don't know I like that so not now I think not now like maybe in a year's time because I'm 31 now so I'm like okay maybe in a year's or two years time when I'm like 33 I'll think about it again and then before 35 maybe one or two um but we'll see you never know <laughs> you're very educated thank you uh how do you have so much energy and ability to focus as a working mom Oh, I don't know. I would I would honestly say that a lot of my productivity and a lot of my like time management, all those things that you, you guys always commend me for comes from like my mum. She was not necessarily like a career. She, she didn't have like a career or whatever, but it her discipline and like her like everything that she did was very much productivity, uh, time management, doing whatever she could to teach us in whatever way possible, even though her English wasn't the best and she was she came to this country like not knowing English and things like that, like not that well. But seeing like that discipline and that motivation and like how she does things till today 
is, I guess, where I get that from. Um, she goes to the gym like every single morning at five, six a.m. before she, you know, comes to the kitchen, cooks and cleans, and like that discipline is, I think, where I've got the energy from. She's never really drunk coffee. She hasn't like, you know, the same as me. And I think like all of that, I genuinely think I'm very. The older I get, I the more I feel like I'm quite similar to my mum. Um, and even my, my husband says to me, he's like, "You're just like your mum," like as in like in a good way, in in a good and annoying way. Like we're both very annoying when we want to be because we're very much like, "Go, go, go!" Yeah, let's go. Okay, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> and we're very annoying because we drag everyone with us. But um, it's a good thing because it means that we are, we can be productive and like, yeah, <laughs> we can do so much. Okay. Um, the, I think this is going to be the last question. You seem to be parenting or working 24-7. Do you rest or find time to unwind? If yes, how? Oh, this is a good question. You know what? On my YouTube video the other day, the one about um, productively relaxing, someone was like, chill out. Like, you're literally always working. Da -da -da -da. And I was like, I'm literally not. I'm in a hotel right now. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I'm actually not. I, I think... You know, my, my page, my social media, my persona, me, it's obviously all about working, productivity, whatever, whatever. But that's definitely, you know, that's just a snapshot of what you see. That's what I choose to share online. That's not my whole life. Um, I spend a lot of time having fun. Like Sunday, the whole day I went out. I had a great time. Went to have brunch with Mohammed. Went, like, did so much fun stuff. And then Monday, I went central, went shopping. And I did some work in the afternoon. And then... Tuesday I was here all day and then I went for a gala like it's I'm really not working all the time like I'm I I am about being productive so I'm about like using your time wisely where you have time productivity I feel like has been twisted in the sense that you think it means like having a toxic relationship with work and like work 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 all the time but actually when I refer to productivity I, I'm not talking about being on your desk on your laptop all day I'm talking about being um, efficient, being smart with your time, sitting down and actually getting things done. Not sitting down and procrastinating. You might as well just go and play. I'm saying sitting down, getting things done, like having a good time, um, working and having a mindset and having goals. Like that is what I mean by productivity. So yeah, I feel like it's, yeah, maybe I should clarify that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I find a lot of time to un unwind and to, and to, to rest.